This is Sports Center. On this edition of NHSPN Sports Center, we go up against a new foe, the Thompson Tommies, but the results are less than desirable. Then we've got a home volleyball game against Roulette Wolford. Followed by another match against the always tough Mid Coda Mustangs. And we end the show with the football game against our biggest local rival, the Benson County Wildcats. It's all coming up on Sports Center. Right now. Hi, and welcome to another edition of Sports Center. I'm Sarah Hagler along with Allie Heisler. The fall sports season is in full swing for the Bearcats as both sports teams have had very busy schedules. After getting off to a 2-0 start, the North Star football team lost to Finley. Their next game was against the Thompson Tommies. We'll turn it over to Christian to see more of the Bearcats season. After the loss to Finley, the Bearcats were hoping that a home game would be a confidence booster. The Tommies had just come off a loss to Hat Northwood and the Bearcats were unfamiliar with their type of play. This shaped up to be an interesting contest. The Bearcats were stalled on their first two plays, but that didn't stop them from going to the air as Jaden Kamrowski throws a jump ball to Alex Weston who catches it over three defenders. Coach Haugen was feeling aggressive in his play calling as he decided to go for it on fourth down, which didn't look like a smart move at the beginning of the play, but Kamrowski created something out of nothing as he scrambles and finds a wide open receiver who's Quilvang who runs it in for another touchdown. The Bearcat defense was finally starting to get in sync as Quilvang chased down the quarterback for his lone sack of the night. Who says quarterbacks can't hit? Not Jaden Kamrowski as he comes up and sends the running back airborne. The Bearcat receivers had trouble all night hauling in passes, but not this one as Weston makes a move to free himself to gain some extra yards after the catch. The running attack for the Bearcats had a tough time getting started, but this was one of the few plays that the backs were able to break open as Thomas makes a few nice moves to get a first down. The second string running attack was much more effective than the first, as Austin States weaves through the line to gain his lone 24 yards of the game. A fumbled snap and a miscommunication by the quarterback can't keep Victor Swenson out of the end zone as he scores the Bearcats' last touchdown of the night. The running game had trouble all game. The Bearcats leading rusher was Riley Thomas who had 10 carries for 36 yards. Weston led the team in receiving again, bringing his season totals to 19 receptions with 276 yards and two touchdowns. The defense was led by Quilvang who had 12 tackles and also had one sack. The Bearcats played their first district game of the season against the Rolette Comets. Knowing that this game was important, the girls came ready to play. After three sets, the Comets were sent home with their loss and the Bearcats remain undefeated. Sarah Hagler started off the night strong with a hard driven spike. She led the Bearcats with 21 kills. Rolette's tall blocker didn't affect Hagler from getting the ball to the floor on this play. Here she skillfully goes around the block, putting the momentum in North Star's favor. A right side set from Allie Heisler allows senior Kendall Hendrickson to find the open spot for another Bearcat point. The Bearcats' aggressive serving caused problems for the Comet passers all night. Here Kristen Murchie gets one of the nine Bearcat aces. Freshman Kelly Hushley is starting to see some varsity playing time for the Bearcat squad. She earned herself a kill for North Star playing the role of middle blocker. Heisler is set up by starting setter Hannah Aldo for one of her 10 kills on the night. A perfect pass from Taylor Crom helped get the offense into motion as Janae Larson powers a hit through the Comets double block for a point. Hannah Aldo plays a significant role in allowing the Bearcats to execute their offense in this play. She had 20 assists with no errors for the evening. The Bearcats saw two players in double figures for kills, Ellie Heisler with 10 and Sarah Hagler with 21. Three other players also added in kills for North Star. Hannah Elto had a great serving game. She went 13 for 13 from the line. This year, she has the highest serving percentage on the team with 95%. Later in the week, the Mustangs came to town to take on the Bearcats in another volleyball game. Their scrappy play won them one set over the Bearcats, but North Star remained strong and came out with an impressive victory. Janae Larson, one of the Bearcats' top defensive player, makes a great dig. She had 25 digs for the night. 
Senior Hannah Alto sets a high outside set to hitter Allie Heisler. Heisler puts it away, earning herself a kill and Alto an assist. The Bearcats mixed up their offense quite a bit. Instead of going with the anticipated front row set, Heisler sets up Sarah Hagler back row for the slam. A nice dig by Heisler leads to a kill for Kristen Murchie. Murchie is a sophomore outside hitter and a valuable part of the Bearcats squad. One of Northstar's strength is aggressive serving. Faith Crum had four aces against mid Coda and went 25 for 25 from the line. Allie Heisler had five aces. This type of serving causes a lot of problems for her opponents. Quilving stops mid Coda's offensive attack. Her long arms make it difficult for Mustang players to hit around her. She had three blocks for the night. Hagler finds the open spot on a back set from Heisler. Hagler was in double digits for kills with a total of 19. A long volley with a dig by Murchie, hitting attempt by Larson, and a defensive mistake by Midcota allows Hagler to get an unassisted kill. Double block of Kendall Hendrickson and Hagler stops the Mustang attack, but they come back swinging again, which is stopped once more by Hagler. In both games this week, Allie Heisler had the most service aces. Other aggressive servers like Faith Crum had impressive stats at the line too. Janae Larson has 154 digs on the season so far, and she has once again led the team in defense. Now back to Christian for more on the football season. There's a lot of hype going into another showdown in the Candy Leeds rivalry. Both teams came in off of losing streaks that they both were striving so hard to break. Leeds came in ready to play while the Bearcats were caught sleeping. There weren't many highlights for the Bearcats in the first half, but Victor Swenson took this carry up the middle for a nice gain. Bearcats did make some nice plays on defense, and this is one of Johnny Heisler's several impressive solo tackles. Christian seems to get at least one sack a game. On this play, he comes in untouched and drops the quarterback for a 10-yard loss. Who knows what was supposed to happen on this play, but Riley Thomas takes off and cuts across the grain for the biggest rush of the game for the Bearcats. The offense put it in high gear after getting down 30 to nothing. Thomas finds Johnny Heisler over the middle and he heads into the corner for a touchdown. Riley lobs one to Christian who is surrounded by four defensive backs, but they just get in each other's way, leaving Christian free to take it all the way in for a 75-yard touchdown reception. The Bearcats had drawn in within 10 of Benson County and were on the march again. Alex Weston was a step away from making this another touchdown pass for Riley. After taking a big loss, the Bearcats got a lot of that rider's back on this great catch over the middle by Heisler. Thomas made a second starter quarterback with a much better showing, throwing for 293 yards and two touchdowns. Alex Weston got the ball early and often in this game, leading the team with eight catches for 118 yards. Corvang led the team in tackles with 13, and he also had one sack. The same weekend of the Benson County football game, the volleyball team played in the Delax Burlington Invitational Tournament. They came up against a lot of tough competition and only lost one match for the weekend taking home the fifth place trophy. That's it for this week. Don't miss the next edition of Sports Center. We'll be covering the homecoming week activities as well as other upcoming games for the Bearcat Athletics. On behalf of Christian and Sarah, I'm Allie Heisler signing off for this edition of NHSPN Sports Center.